It is I, Mrs. Taylor, your local magician, here to give you a brand new magic show. For today's show, I'm going to be combining two different polygons to make a new shape. But what exactly is a polygon and what does combine mean? A polygon is a two-dimensional shape that has to be flat. All sides have to be straight. You have to have a closed shape and there cannot be any curves. All of the shapes that you see here are examples of polygons, even the arrow on the top. When you combine something, you're putting two things together. Like in the summer when you're really thirsty, you might want some lemonade. So you grab some water and lemonade mix, combine the two together, and you get some cool, refreshing lemonade. Here we're going to put two polygons together to make a new shape. So for example, I'm going to combine the green trapezoid, the orange triangle, and the yellow rhombus together. And when I combine it all together, I get a hexagon, which now has six sides. For today's first trick, we're going to take two triangles. Notice that these triangles do not have equal sides, but there are three sides to a triangle. One, two, three. So I'm going to take both of my triangles and I'm going to combine them to make a new shape. So we're going to put them in the hat. One, two. Then we're gonna pick up our magic wand and say the magic words. Abracadabra, poof. What shape do you think is going to come out of the hat now that they're combined? Go ahead and pause the video and write down your answer. Let's see if you're right. Out of the hat comes a square. When you take one of the triangles and you cover it up, you put it up and down. But then when you take the other triangle, you have to turn it upside down and then it completely covers your square. Thank you very much, everyone. Here we go with trick number two. When you combine a triangle plus a triangle, that equals a square, which has four sides. For our next trick, we're going to take two triangles. Notice that this time, each side is equal. So I'm gonna put the first triangle in the hat and then the second triangle in the hat. And then we're gonna take our magic wand and say the magic words. Abracadabra, poof. What shape do you think I'm gonna pull out of the hat this time? Pause the video and write down your answer. Let's see if you're right. I'm going to pull out this shape. This shape is called a rhombus. It's also called a quadrilateral because it has four sides. One, two, three, four. So if you said rhombus or quadrilateral or even a diamond, then you are correct. When you combine two triangles that have equal sides, you get a rhombus or a quadrilateral because it has four sides. For my next trick, I'm going to use two squares. Now this was really easy to visualize. I bet you get this one right. So I'm going to put the first square in the hat, followed by the second square, pick up my magic wand and say the magic words. Go on, you can help me say the words this time. Abracadabra, poof. Pause the video and write down the answer as to what shape I get when I combine the two squares. What shape did you write down? Let's see if you're right. I pull out a rectangle. Notice that a rectangle has two sides, the top and the bottom are equal length, and then the two sides on the left and the right are also equal length. And since there are four sides, it's called a quadrilateral. We can very easily visualize that this goes into our rectangle. So one goes here on the left and one gets pushed in here on the right. So when our two squares are combined, we get a rectangle. Great job, boys and girls. When you combine two squares, you get a rectangle, which is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. For our next trick, we're going to use two trapezoids. A trapezoid has four sides, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna put the first trapezoid inside of the hat, followed by the second trapezoid inside of the hat. And we're going to wave our magic wand to say the magic words. Abracadabra, poof. What shape do you think I created when I combined the two trapezoids? Write down your answer and unpause the video when you're ready to check it. Let's see if you're right. I pull out of my hat a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job, boys and girls. So let's double check. Our first trapezoid goes on the top, so it's upside down. And then our other one gets turned around and goes on the bottom. It's as easy as that. When you combine two trapezoids, you get a hexagon, which has six sides. For my final trick of the day, I'm going to do something that I haven't done yet. I'm going to combine not two shapes, but I'm going to combine three polygons together to get a new shape. So I'm going to use a triangle. This time, all three sides are equal. One, two, three. So here's my first triangle going in the hat, 
My second triangle is going inside the hat. And finally, the third triangle is going inside the hat. We're going to pick up the magic wand and say the magic words. Go on and say it with me. Abracadabra, poof. What polygon did we get when we combined all three triangles together? Pause the video and write down your answer. Let's see if you're right. Out of the hat comes a trapezoid. Very good job, boys and girls. So here's how we did it. We took the first triangle and put it so it's straight up and down. Our second triangle over on the right side goes straight up and down. But notice in the middle, we have to turn our final triangle upside down. And now you can see how you combine three triangles to make a trapezoid. Great job, boys and girls. When you combine three triangles together, you get a trapezoid. What's that, boys and girls? You want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? Hmm, well, let's see if that works. Abracadabra, poof! I'll be! It really does work! Congratulations, boys and girls. Now you're able to perform your very own magic tricks. See what shapes you can get when you combine two or three different polygons together to create a new polygon. Make sure you tell your teacher which shapes that you created, and you too can be a magician. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and keep on learning. Bye-bye.